Hello, what's up? This is Ali and today we are going to address the issue where the PSP is not allowing us to update because it detects a version of 9.90. This actually happens when we have a current custom firmware that has a spoof with a very high firmware thus preventing us to update our PSP. So what we can do here is we can access the flash of our PSP and change this configuration. And to be able to do that, we need to access the VSH option of your PSP. You can access that by pressing select. And we can change the USB device to flash zero. But sometimes if our flash or if our VSH menu is disabled, you won't be able to get to this menu by pressing select. So we have to re-enable our VSH first. And to do that, we can restart our PSB and press R1 or press the right shoulder button as we open our PSB and it will take us to the recovery mode or to the uh, recovery menu. Then we can click on the configuration. From here, we can see the option where we can enable and disable the VSH menu. Make sure that on the use of VSH menu, it's currently on VSH menu. Then we may now go back and now be able to access the VSH menu and change the USB mode to flash zero. Then we may now enter the USB connection and connect the USB to our PSP and to our PC so we can access the flash of our PSP. Here we can see different folders from usual on the root of our PSP. We need to access the VSH folder, then the ETC folder. Inside the ETC folder, we'll find the note version. Open this notepad and we can change the spoof on our PSP. Here we'll see on the version 9.90. We should change this to 5.50 to be able to update our PSP. From here, we can go ahead and save and exit. Then we can go back on our VSH menu and change the USB device back to memory stick and uh, proceed with the update on our version. Here, it is advisable to plug in the power of your PSP because uh, this will definitely take some time and you don't want your PSP to lose power while updating because it will definitely break your PSP. After the update, your PSP will automatically restart and uh, you can go ahead and check the new version of your PSP. From here, you may go ahead and install new CFW on your PSP. And uh, this is it for our video. If you found this video helpful, please uh, do leave me a thumbs up and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.